everybody, it's me, Wilma Fingerdo. Well, not yet. Almost. I'm halfway there. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe a, a snoochy snooch there. But um, I thought I would do a get ready uh, with me video uh, as I'm getting ready for the Fingerdo review. But um, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not going to tell you. This isn't a tutorial. I don't want to tell you how to do your makeup. I found everything that I've learned literally off the internet, off of YouTube. I always tell everyone that YouTube is my drag mother. And that has been the case up until recently. Um, I had uh, a fabulous uh, life-altering experience uh, when Seattle Knight came to the Finger Do Review to uh, help me review the premiere of Canada's Drag Race. And every time I looked up at Seattle, she kept getting dewier and l more luminous and, and just prettier, all in general. And then by the time we were both done, uh, and I was sitting next to her, well, I didn't feel so glamorous and pretty. And it's not her fault at all. So what are you using? Well, she used a lot of Jeffree Star products. And I was really impressed because I'd never seen them. Like, I'd never seen them. I, Again, I'd heard of them. I think I may have watched a Nikki's tutorial on the cremated palette or something, but it was a very theatrical palette. And I really enjoyed that tutorial, but uh, I looked at a couple of the products she was using and realized like, well, I don't use concealer and I've never used a highlighter and and uh, uh, my finishing powder is just Ben Nye. It's just Ben Nye. It's, you could dust a pizza board with it. It's the same thing. And I thought, okay, I've never bought proper makeup. Everything I buy for Wilma is either, um, I'll, I'll splurge on the Krylon sticks. That's what I use normally. I use uh, Krylon sticks. Uh, all of the palettes that I use for blushes and contours and eyeshadows came from Winners, which is the equivalent of, equivalent of Marshalls in the States. Uh, so while I was looking at all this Jeffree Star stuff, I was realizing that I had never bought proper makeup, really. So I splurged a little. I bought a, a concealer and I bought, <laughs> while I was waiting for all the Jeffree Star products to come in, so I bought them. Fair to complete, I, I was done. Uh, life, life goes on. Uh, I was starting to hear all these things about Jeffree Star that I had already suspected from just my opinion from what I'd heard. Uh, and then all of this Shane Dawson and all these people. I don't even know these people. I don't care to know these people. Most of these people are whining and complaining about each other from mansions. So I really have nothing to say to any of them. Uh, you know, if that's the life you wanted and now you're complaining about it, well, God bless you. Uh, you made some, some terrible choices. That's what I was saying. While I was waiting for the Jeffree Star stuff to come in, I was starting to regret buying it more and more. Because in this generation that we're in right now of um, uh, Black Lives Matter and finally white people getting their heads out of their rear ends and realizing that just because they don't see a problem doesn't mean there isn't a, isn't a problem. So I, um, I, I thought I really, I took a really good, hard, long thought and think, <laughs> see how hard it is for me to think. And I thought, I don't want, I don't want to support or promote Jeffree Star. Now it's done. I just don't feel good about supporting somebody who I think isn't a nice person. Uh, while I was waiting for the Jeffree Star stuff and regretting every minute of my life, thinking, oh, I've just spent a couple hundred dollars American and shipping. I just uh, started looking for alternatives. I thought, well, there's other makeup companies. Like, I don't know, as I said, I don't know anything about makeup. I literally just know pan sticks and powder. So, uh, concealer, uh, highlighter, uh, all of these different products, I realized every company makes them. Jeffree Star does not have a monopoly on these products, but lots of people have really great products. So one of the people that I like to watch as far as tutorials go uh, is Nikki Tutorials. One of her tutorials happened to come on the heels of the Black Lives Matter um, uh, uprising, uh, for want of a better word, that was going on. And she she did a whole tutorial that involved uh, Black-owned makeup companies. And so, you know, like Bake Shop was one of them. But the one that knocked me out, like just, I was just impressed with, uh, and in a way that I was impressed with the palettes on the Jeffree Star site, was Juvia's Place. Uh, they had so many, so many palettes, like right away. And they were, in most cases, a half to a third the price of what Jeffree Star had. I would just like to say this 
about uh, eye sh eyebrows while I'm doing this. I suck at doing eyebrows so bad. It's awful. If you've ever watched one of my videos and gone, what's with her eyebrows? Thank you, because I don't know. <laughs> I have been trying so hard. And so I finally watched two different videos on it. Uh, one was Patrick Stars. It's an excellent, excellent video. It's him and his uh, uh, best drag Judy, T.W. Uh, he's uh, He does this full tutorial on how to do what I'm doing right now. And more or less, I'm doing what he said to do in the video. Uh, now, it's a long video. I think it's upwards of 20 minutes, maybe. But it's thorough. It's a good one. If you are having problems with eyebrows, I highly recommend you just give TW's video on Patrick Starr's uh, YouTube channel uh, a, hint, uh, a look. I think it's just called I I Drag Brows or something like that. The other video that's excellent for drag eyebrows is done by a, a drag queen named Scarlet Starlet. She is on the tubes. Uh, I, I, I have to be honest, I've only seen this one video of hers. I, I wanted to watch tutorials on um, eyebrows and hers literally word for word is exactly what TW does in Patrick Starr's video except it's that it in just over three minutes. So if you don't have time, but you want to see the highlights of how to do this, um, check out those two videos. I would also like to say that I'm using Elmer's glue, the best glue for eyebrows, but this one doesn't have that purple in it. And I don't know why. This is just the one I, I grabbed, came home, it wasn't purple. It's the exact same thing. It does the exact same thing. Um, I don't regret buying it. It's not giving me a harder time than the other did. It just doesn't go clear when it dries. So it's just a, a little different, but there you go. I think I've looked at a couple of tutorials where, oh, they're not using the blue. I can't do this tutorial. They're not using the blue stick. They're not using the blue stick. I can't do this. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm just, I left it in because I wanted you to know he can use the non-blue one. I'm using the Cody uh, Extra Coverage uh, Translucent um, powder on these particularly. I wanted to get like a little more color over them. I also found it very hard in Toronto for some reason to um, find a color corrector on its own. Just a red color corrector. Uh, you can buy color wheels and they have the red, the lavender, the green, the orange, a couple of other things. Uh, but I don't want those other colors. I don't have circles under my eyes or things. I just wanted to block out the hair of my eyebrows because I felt that that was one of the other problems I was having with my eyebrows. You could see them. So in looking at websites for um, product, I came across kimchi. Now, if anyone's going to know makeup, it's going to be kimchi. But what I was interested in on her site was her color corrector. And she has tubes of them. This is the orange uh, and this is the red. Uh, and I bought both of these because I wasn't sure how orange the orange was. It's not. It's more of a it's more of like a deeper skin tone, like I would say, like a tanned white girl. Uh, but the red is red. And now here's the thing. This is what I didn't like about this. These things come with an applicator, a little brush. So you squeeze them, the product comes up. And it did it great in this one. This one works. Uh, I just don't like the applicator brush because then the product's in the brush and it dries. And even when you put the cap, it's like, Ugh. so I took the cap off. I took that applicator off and I just have it like this. I've never used color corrector before. I find this very thick and very hard to move around. It's, it's not friendly, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Now, that's, that's what I'm finding with this product. I don't know what color correctors are like in general, because as I say, I've, rare, I, I've never really used them. Normally, the way I put my brows down is with Prosade, and it's way quicker, it's way more secure, but I haven't been able to get Prosade lately, so I've been using the glue. And I have to say, even though the glue is more tedious, it takes a little longer, it's not horrible. I don't mind doing it. Um, I find in some cases I get the eyebrows down a little better with the glue because I have to do it three or four times. Whereas with the Prosade, you really only do it the once, maybe a second time if you, if you really slept on your eyebrows wrong that day or something, I guess. I don't know. There. I have to say, I don't know. That's the best I've ever put uh, <laughs> this color corrector on. 
Um, I think it's because the cameras are going. It's trying to show up. And then I like to set it because I use, somebody said once you could use lipstick as a color corrector, a nice red lipstick, a matte red lipstick. And, uh, well, they lied. Uh, I, uh, I did it. I even powdered it. And my, my foundation still came up pink where I had put it. It was, uh, I mean, thank God it's in the eye area and not down here because that would be more noticeable. You're putting other colors up here, but still. I'm used to a Krylon color stick. That's what I normally use. So I went with Juvia's Place. I got a couple of their color sticks. I don't normally use a brush, but I've actually used this so much. I've come to the, the bottom of the tube and there's still product in it. So I'm just using it now this way. I normally just like to rub it on because it's a stick and then use a sponge. I'm using a concealer brush to do this. I hope this doesn't shock people. The other thing that's great about this um, makeup is you don't need a lot of it. It really does um, cover a lot. So whether you're a drag queen or somebody who likes just full coverage, maybe you have some color issues you'd like to cover up and stuff like that, Juvia's Place is not going to let you down. Now, do you see how it's still a little orange through here? That bothers me. <laughs> so I like to then take some of this. For my contour, uh, Dino Dilio is a local... Um, makeup artist. He's also a drag queen. And he has his own line of makeup and it's fantastic. This is very dark. I don't like to use too much of this. This is the other thing that I've kind of come to realize with makeup is that it's all the same, more or less. I mean, Now, most people hate doing eyebrows. I I don't know why. I don't have a problem doing them. I, I don't, I guess because I'm not too worried. I don't know. But the best trick I, I learned was putting it on while everything's still wet with a contour, just as a base. So you have the shape there. Uh, and, then pow and then if it's wrong, you can fix it because it's all still wet and then set everything with powder. So that's more or less what I'm going to do. Now, I still see my eyebrow. Can you all see my eyebrow? Like that, it bothers me. It bothers me that I can still see it. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm putting too many hopes and dreams on uh, my makeup. There, I'm good with that. <laughs> so now I'm going to powder. Uh, but I'll tell you, doing it this way, um, it may f it may come off as maybe fussy because I'm going to draw my eyebrows again properly. But right now, this is just uh, me getting uh, the shape down. So now I can do all my makeup and everything. This is how bougie I am when I'm making, when I'm doing my, <laughs> when I'm doing my makeup. You want to see something sad. <laughs> this is my teapot. <laughs> This is now continuing. I'd never heard of concealer before. Uh, Siapa talked to me about Jeffree Star stuff. And uh, one thing that I realized is that all concealer more or less does the same thing. So once I started looking into highlighters, because I really, at first I just had this impression, oh, Jeffree Star must be like, must have invented this. This must be like a Jeffree Star thing. I, I don't know. I'd never heard of it. I'd never... And again, I'm not a makeup artist. So I started going on to the tubes like I do. And I started checking on different tutorials. Like I started looking up con uh, concealer and, and stuff like that. And I realized that concealer is the same as the same as the same. Sure, the formulas are different. Sure, the colors are different. But they do the same thing. So the one powder that I do use is this Cody's Airspun uh, Extra Coverage. Uh, it's just, it, it has that rose quality to it. Now, is it as good as Jeffree Star's? 
I don't know. Is it as finely milled as Jeffree Star's? I don't know. Here's the bigger shocker. I don't care. Uh, the Cody stuff is 12 bucks. <laughs> Wilma loves a bargain. And so because the Cody stuff is $12, uh, I'm okay with that. The Jeffree Star stuff, I think, is twice that, 22 And I think it's half the amount of product. And this is what it all boils down to. This isn't about how expensive it is or how unnecessary it is or any of that. Uh, this is about just choosing where I want my money to go. You know, if I'm going to spend money on somebody, I want to at least make sure that I'm not hurting or disparaging other people to do it. And this is a hard thing I think a lot of people have trouble with. You get used to certain things and you want certain things to be a certain way. And then you realize, oh, you know, I, I can't do that anymore. I can't use that anymore. I've got to change what I'm doing. And, and people hate change. I don't care who you are. Uh, so for me, I have to say, uh, this whole Jeffree Star thing for me was a good thing at a good time because I didn't, um, I didn't have an opinion. I didn't have any, um, uh, brand loyalty. I, I, I wasn't like, oh, I, I, I'd die if I didn't have that product. So now we're on to my favorite parts, <laughs> the palettes. The first palette that I love is this Nubian palette from Juvia's, uh, the reason I love this palette is because it's neutrals and nudes. And one of the things that's great about these neutrals and nudes for my skin tone is they're great for contour. As you can see, I have no eyelids. They're completely hidden by uh, regret <laughs> and age. I have to say my eyebrows are looking much better than they normally do. Something that I, once I realized that these are colors you can literally almost use anywhere on your face, uh, the, my whole approach to how I did my makeup changed. Uh, it kind of opened up the creativity. I'm using the darkest brown that's on this palette for my eyebrow. Now, you could <laughs> use water. <laughs> this is what I do. It's terrible. I pour a little tea into my saucer. And I use that just by wetting that powder just that little bit. It just gives it a little more intensity. And because I'm a drag queen, I don't care to have real eyebrows. I'm not interested in whether or not, you know, I don't want to draw doll hairs. I, I mean, I would like to try that. I think it's a great look. I love Valentina when she did it. The other thing I love, no mirror. There's no mirror. So that's one of the reasons these palettes are less expensive. And there you go. One brow. This was the other thing. I got the Juvia's Place stuff very fast. It seemed to kind of get here just almost as the um, Jeffree Star stuff was coming in. But I had ordered it after the fact. So I was, I was impressed with that anyway. Eyebrows. <laughs> For my eyes, I'm going to do blue eyes. I've been doing blue a lot lately and I've really been liking it. So we're going to go with that. And to do that on this, I'm going to use three Juvia's Place palettes. So this is the uh, Warrior 3. I'm using uh, the color uh, Goya, Gola, Gola. And what I like to do is right in there, this is where I'm going to create my Crease. Oh! Can't believe I just made that noise. As I said, I have an art background. So I kind of, in my mind, in my heart of hearts, just accepted that I would get this fast. And I didn't. <laughs> it was a real shock. So All of a sudden, someday, like you'll just be all of a sudden, you'll just be la la la, plodding along, trying your hardest. And then all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, there it is. <laughs> it worked. So stick at it is what I'm saying. You know, when people tell you the trick to makeup is blending, they are not lying. I'll have to tell you the most, the most important piece of equipment that I ever bought that it helped me improve my makeup application 
a hand mirror for $1.50. This was so cheap. Now, all of these branded lines, I, I would lie to you if I didn't say I would kill for the Beast uh, mirror from the Alyssa Edwards palette collection. Uh, and if anyone out there has it and would like to send it to me, I will pay the postage. <laughs> I'm serious. I think that's a great mirror. Um, and, you know, I also would be lying to you if I didn't say that the uh, Jeffree Star stars are cute. I'm all about stars. I love stars. Uh, I would have bought a Jeffree Star mirror if it had been a week earlier. I'll tell you what. And I would have been so upset with myself for spending 50 bucks uh, on something that I couldn't use. So... I think I dodged a bullet, but what I want to do is I actually want to brand my own mirrors. And as these are from the Dollarama, I think I'll buy a box of them and, and I'll hit them with something that makes them Wilma. Oh, something that I didn't do. I'm so, I always do this. As I said, we did powder, but I just want to make sure. And you want a lot of this here. Because what? will happen is the makeup uh, will fall. This Now, I, that said, I'm going to tell you, Juvia's Place has not got a lot of fallout, I'll tell you. But it happens. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do while I'm uh, doing this is I'm going to bake my jawline. I just don't want to look like I have too much um, product. So, come under there. You see? Just a little. I'm a fat girl. I don't have a chin. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to tell you that I do. <laughs> All right. So that's that blue. We don't need any more of that. Um, so then I am moving on to the Afrique palette, and we are using Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. This color. Now, this is very intense comparatively. And blend. Yeah, just like that. <gasps> Who am I? Who am I becoming? What's in my tea? <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> As I snort. Um, the one thing I learned is these mirrors, having a hand mirror, like, it's one thing. Now, for this setup, I have this mirror quite far from me. Like, there's my arm stretched out. I'm still not touching it uh, because I didn't want it in the shot, clearly. Um, but it's still at an angle where I can see myself. And I think anyone will tell you, any artist will tell you, sometimes you want to step away from your work. You don't want to be too close. You want to see what the eye is going to do to it from a distance. So, <coughs> excuse me, having that mirror that far away is great. But I used to have it up close and I was kind of hunched over it all the time and doing my makeup kind of hunched over and one thing I noticed on all of the tutorials is that they hold a mirror, make a mirror up some size, whether it's a compact in a palette or a hand mirror, and they hold it up and do their makeup this way. I don't know why I didn't try it. I have no idea why I thought, oh, those people are just using an extra piece of nonsense. I mean, I didn't think that in my head. I just didn't see the need for having a hand mirror at the same. Well, can I tell you, if you are having trouble doing makeup, get yourself a hand mirror. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't, I mean, if it makes you feel good to hold a really ornate, beautiful, and you have the upper body strength mirror, then buy it, do it. If it makes you feel better and you enjoy what you're doing while you're doing it because of that, do it, buy it. I'm going to try something. I just told you off the top, I don't like to do um, shimmers or glitters on my eyes, but I'm going to go into this uh, festival palette. I want to use this color here. This is the um, uh, Uli. Look how white that is. Oh, and shimmery. So I'm going to try that once I wipe my fingers on. Damn it. I'm going to try that on my brow bone. Look at that. Ooh. Now, I'm going to talk to you about my eyeliners. <laughs> Here's my eyeliner bags. Again, all of these bags, I have one for lipstick. And it's just so I can see it and go, oh, I need that. Um, so this is Patrick star. Again, I saw this on Nikki tutorials. Uh, if Nikki doesn't like it, I'm, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to lie to you, but this is, uh, I've already used this a lot. Uh, this is an excellent eyeliner. They, this is an eyeliner 
that is as good as they say it is. It is so black and intense. So there's, that's my eyeliner. And then what I like to do is set it with this dark, dark blue. It's practically black. Can't see it, just puts this purple sheen. All right. Then we take this. Hmm. I hate doing eyeliner. I hate it. <laughs> but I try. All right. This is something I got off of Kim Chi's website. And it's excellent. This is her eye popper, or what does she call it? Diamond Shards. <laughs> God bless. I've been having the worst time with lip liner. I don't know why I, I can't find a lip liner that works. I can't find a lipstick that works. Juvia's Place literally this year released their nude lipstick line. And because I like a lot of pinks, they have one that's called Love Me. Uh, it's a pinky brown color. I'm gonna show it to you now. Um, when I do my lips, ugh, I'm having such trouble because I I got these old lady lines that go down and the makeup goes into them, so I try and avoid them. So well, again, I think it's because the cameras are on. I think that's the best I've ever done my lip liner. Maybe I should have the cameras on all the time. I don't know. All right. So now lipstick. Oh God. One thing I've learned in my makeup journey is there is no such thing as a nude lip. You cannot <laughs> put a nude lip on as a drag queen. Uh, even if you are going for a nude look lip, you gotta have color. I think we're done. My lipstick is crooked. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> oh, my lashes. This is the thing. Here's, here's a, uh... so lashes have been interesting. 301s are what I use. If you want to see uh, a 301, that's a 301 right there. They're big. They're like big. So I got a bunch of lashes like this. Cheap. I think I got like 10 pair, 10 or 12 pair for like eight bucks on Amazon. Uh, and they're not lashes I would use because they're too wispy, but you can cut them. And then you can add paper to them. Now, what I've been doing with my lashes is I've been adding paper to them. And these are the lashes I've been wearing the last few times on the finger do review. These ones are too big, I think. These ones on the inner corner, I think are too big. But these are the latest lashes I made. I don't know if you can see, but there's four extra prongs. But short of that, these are very, if you look at them, also the lash itself, when I stack these lashes, instead of stacking them, right, I, I stack the next pair and the next pair further out, so it makes the lashes grow out like that with the extension. But these extensions are just paper. Just paper cardstock. That's <laughs> how you do it. And uh, la-di-da. So I use super bond. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to because it's latex, but I don't have an allergy to latex. I also, um, 
I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay with using something that's not uh, really for what it's for. But this is the, the reason I like using the uh, Super Bond. It dries so quickly. Uh, it's almost immediate. Like where you put it is where it stays. And I have to tell you, I have so much trouble putting false eyelashes on. I don't know about the rest of you, but it is one of the hardest things in the world to do, if you ask me. All right. So the trick to doing um, an eyelash is, uh, well, there's no trick. You just have to gird your loins into it. But look down. That's, that's a great hint. And then with, I avoided using tweezers for the longest time, but they actually are quite helpful. So I, because these have a lot of glue in them already from building them up, they're fairly rigid. So I stick that inner corner line of the eyelashes right against my eyelash line and hold it. And then I bring the rest around and I hold it again. And then, and this is it. I, this is it. This is the secret. You do this. And no matter how you put your eyelashes on every time, they'll be perfect. <laughs> Perfection. Well, there you go. There's the face. Juvia's Place is one of these um, uh, little uh, treasures that I am so impressed. I want to thank... Nikki tutorial for talking about them, first of all, uh, because uh, I wouldn't have even known about them if she wasn't talking about them. I'd also like uh, to thank Jeffree Star for being, you know, questionably douchey, because if he hadn't have been, I definitely wouldn't have gone looking for other makeup. And there it is. This is it. This is the... <laughs> The hair, the little hat, because you know I'm a whore for a little hat. And I thought, I can match gloves to a hat. Wee! Um, so I'm really uh, excited about uh, where I'm going with uh, my makeup. I just, uh, I find this heavier uh, eyelid uh, is uh, a better way for me to deal with my um, hooded eye. Uh, and then the cut crease isn't too big but enough for some sparkle and Hello Kitty-ness and all that jazz. Um, I would like to thank Juvia's Place for the work they're doing. Uh, they're, they've got some great products. Check them out, juviasplace.com. I'll put a link to their website down below. Uh, I am not being paid by anybody. I am not, I bought all of this myself. I made these financial decisions, these, uh, not financial, well, I guess they're financial, but these uh, um, buying choices myself. I spent my money and I uh, regret some of it. Um, I mean, I'm sure the Jeffree Star makeup is fabulous. And as I say, uh, I do have it. Uh, I think it's a great way to chronicle, uh, you know, a period in time in life, but I'm not going to be using it. I'm really thrilled with Juvia's Place. So that said, uh, thank you so much for getting ready with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't ramble on too long. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more of this or you want me to tell you more about what I'm doing, I'm not a makeup artist. I am not a makeup artist. But what I am going to start doing is reviewing the sites that helped me. Uh, and I will have some of that coming up down the pike. So until then, miss me. Mwah. Seriously. See, gloves are great. You don't need to wear nails.